Ladies and gentlemen, Traveler's Rest, which I haven't played since like 2020. It's been a long time and a lot has changed with the game. When I played it, it was more like a like a really light Stardew Valley type kind of thing, but with like a graveyard keep sort of research tree so you can like better yourself and get more stuff and progress through the game that way. But apparently a massive amount has changed. I looked at the screenshots quickly and it's like an entirely new game, genuinely. So uh, looking forward to getting into it. This was sent to me for free for review by the developer or publisher. I was not paid and my opinions are my own. Character customizer is quite wild and varied, can be an awful lot. There's a decent amount of choice there. I do wish the colors were a little bit more free select because currently it's just the, uh, you know, specific colors for the specific attire, which is decent, but would be nice to have true free colors. I'm not sure how possible that is though. But hey, I'm going for a Yeti with the Axe Lodge. I remember there being like a back piece you could have where you could like actually maybe even have literally an axe. I think there's like a, I think I made like a bald zombie dude who had, had like a sledgehammer on his back. It was a very intimidating looking innkeep dude. But uh, <laughs> who knows what type of folks we get on. This is currently in early access, which means it's still being developed based on my feedback. If I enjoy my time, please consider leaving a review to this indie project. Poor thing. WCD Shift B for decoration mode. Oh yeah, this is already, uh... The UI is a lot different than I remember. I remember there being, like, on the bottom left, like, these sorts of vials that would fill up, and that was the, uh, like, your research and stuff. Like a mode, placing items, left mouse button or E. Try selecting the table. Mouse and E to place. For R to rotate. Oh, they need a place to sit. Benches to face the table. Rotate with R or Q to add it to the inventory. <laughs> it's completely offset. Oh, invalid seating. Okay. Yeah, fine. And then uh, I'll just pick that one up. Place the new objects. Mouse wheel, F to select. F to pick it up and place it using E. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Ah, you can also just right click with it selected, it turns out. Okay. Very nice. I'll, uh... Ooh, change the style. And kind of like free placement on some, uh... Some stuff, too. That's nice. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> can even move the window. Huh. <laughs> I'll be taking that. <laughs> you can also, if you prefer, move the camera out a bit, which I think I might prefer this, actually. This is a bit more of a nice overview. Hey, look, there's even back rooms here, 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 and everything, and... Alright, okay. So I think I, like, have to place the objects then, or, uh... I might have to place stuff. Oh, maybe not. I was just in the build mode. I can actually kind of do what I want. Progress to the main quest line to unlock a crafting room. Cellar unlocked at Tavern Reputation 10. Got a little box of goodies here. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh... uh I might want these, actually. What is... Is that like a backpack I've got? If I stay up too late, I'll pass out. Define too late. Oh yeah, okay, I've got a lot of inventory. I have a quest. Press H to view it. Oh. oh. Okay. I clicked the close thing, because it I, even placing like the large bench and everything, it wasn't actually progressing me, so. Uh, serve six customers for an individual table, some stools, and some more candles. Okay. I'll do it. What would you like? 
Would you like some red, purple, blue, or green? E to serve them. Decoration mode must be deactivated to do any action. Right. One of them. Easy. Done. Just had to run in with some bandits. Nasty business. Oh, that sounds terrible. That sounds just the worst. I'm not sure what this is they're ordering or how much I've got, but we're doing it. I'm, I'm serving it. I don't really have seating for more. Um, I'd have to close down the tavern to place another bench, so bear with me here, guys. Okay, I can't actually interact with the taps too, to like <laughs> Large benches on tap. <laughs> Alright, nice. When we get some drinks and all that, I, s I suppose. I imagine we have to, like, store some stuff in the cellar for that, and we, like, alchemy up some stuff. Thank you for the 27 gold medals. Have a nice day. They dirtied the floor. Tavern vision. Highlight important objects like dirty tables, floor dirt, and important customers. Mop and F the stain. Ew, there it is, I see it. Wait, what? Hey, another one? Oh. So hungry. Ooh. Whoa. <sighs> okay. Holding F, holding F, holding F. No, wrong thing. I did it! I accept. Close up the tavern so I can place new items. Call last orders by pressing O. Prevents new customers from entering the tavern. Haha, <laughs> nice. So I don't just shut them down, uh, <laughs> evict them straight away. Doors close but lose reputation. Wait for the customers to leave. Okay, and I like that. I'm not sure about it being O, but I think it can rebind some stuff generally. Yeah. O was just the open tavern button. Ugh. Table became dirty. Yeah, it sure did. Press and hold E to clean it. Uh, yeah, okay. I can clean it without the vision, though, thankfully. Set up a table using your new items. Decoration mode. Select the item. F it. So, B. And then... Yeah. Well, uh... Well, it's just like a big extendo table. Look at that. It says invalid seating, but I'm not sure if I oops, believe it. I think it's fine. And then for the loners. <laughs> so is this actually invalid? Oh yeah, it, it like pushes itself in. Okay. All right. Customers also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing the candle on the table. Consumed over the course of days, so I need to replace them to the future. Ugh. Yeah, I mean... Yes. <laughs> and there's a, a single candle for you two. Alright. Okay. Uh, the stool? Another one of those. And I still got a few candles. But I will pick those up. Yeah, they're a bit melty now. I see. Okay. We'll pick up the melty ones then. And probably turn you off? No. Okay. Go through to the book on the bar and press E to open my stock. Ah, storing food here adds it to my bar stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. At least it's something. I like they leave just like, oh, you're out of food, and we just massively lose rep. Let's serve some gruel. <laughs> Excellent. So I don't know if I, like, missed a step or something, but yeah, like, when I was picking up and moving stuff, it was just like, oh, you gotta, uh, where was that? This, I just got stuck there. I'm not sure if, like, because I was messing around with the furniture in unexpected ways, or what? I don't know. I was stuck there, though. I just 
opened up the tavern and it seemed to have worked out. Mm, give me a minute. Ugh. Oh, okay. That's like current orders. Oh, so if I'm like away, ah, oh, that's nice. It's like in a in a kitchen, you get like the order papers that come in all the time. So you get a. Uh, if I have to like prepare something for them, it keeps a tally of that. That's handy. I don't think that was in the game at all before last I played. Can I serve porridge and grog? Oh, yeah, okay. Watered down booze. I assume that I, yeah, I put that on tap. Okay. I'll put it in red because it's watered down and gross. And that's just, yeah, that's still in my inventory. Uh, I'll open this one. We'll, we'll get two going. People will think they have so much variety, but really, it's just the same deal. Super clean, I know. I know, sir. I know. Only the best for you. Oh, you're so hungry. These people. Does anybody want some watered down booze? I got some. <laughs> ah, there we go. Press and hold E to pull a beer. Then get closer to the customer and you to serve them. Aha. But can't I just like pre pull beers then? Do they like expire or something? Could like go decoration mode and just like have a shelf of pre poured beers back there. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, <laughs> maybe a different one. Look at that. Oh, what a mess. Is that like a like a debuff thing that pops up on the bottom right? I don't know what that is. I would maybe, like, since we don't have energy or anything, um, I don't think there's an option for it. Oh, there is auto sprint for left control. All right, I'll sit back down. Never mind, you got this. <laughs> you got it, you're on it. Okay. <laughs> there you go, five bowls of porridge. I got some tickets. Oh, an old doormat. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, uh, right, I can't place it here. What is that? Oh, cool, an axe. A copper axe. Close the tavern, go outside to chop trees in order to advance my quest and gain new technologies. We've unlocked a stone tier. Ew. I don't even... Was that in the gruel? I know why you poured it on the ground, then. That's disgusting. I apologize. All right, last call. Ooh, look at that lighting. Really, really shines the... No. Oh. Really shines off the filth. Okay, hold on, let me... Oops. Smack that person across the face quick. Just five? Keep it fairly stocked. It's not like it's gonna burn like super hot. Just, just throw it all in then, I, I think. It's not like it gets consumed when I light a fire, so. All right. Nice, the, the auto candle is kind of cool. Although I feel like I should be lighting the candles myself as well. If I have to light the fireplace. Jeez, this place is filthy. I need to get somebody to clean for me. It was, it was rough. Since, since we have nighttime, oh, that trigger at 19. Okay, outside, I'm not sure if there was much going on outdoors last I played. 
But okay, are we just like, uh... Just any... any tree, or...? Maybe not. Okay. Maybe not those trees. Or maybe, maybe yes, those trees. Oh, I'm in decoration mode. Eh. I like these little pops and plip sound effects as I'm collecting stuff. Hmm, satisfying. Get one of the smaller looking trees. Get this really teeny tiny tree? No, that's too tiny. I'm not a monster. Yet. <laughs> yeah! Uh, record player? Oh, the sawmill, of course. And uh, scythe, yes. Record player. <laughs> <laughs> My first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside using the decoration mode. Select copper sickle F to clear weeds. Won't be able to use it if decoration mode's enabled. Does it have to be outside? I see why it would maybe have to be outside. It's quite a big thing, that. Okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> we need a bigger tavern. <laughs> And yeah, we need to scythe a bit to clear some space. I see, it's all making sense. Wah. Oh, you can also just left click, doesn't have to be F. What do we do with all this plant fiber that we're getting? Durable. And what? Oh, pliable. I think we can make a, make a booze out of it. Scoot that over a bit. Pick that up. Okay. Yeah, I'll pick that up too. Right. Each crafter has a list of recipes. They show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. There's just some planks. Timers fill, move closer, and press E to collect. Ah. I see. Queue up a bunch of planks. Just queue up a whole load of planks. I think I got the materials for it. Hello, everyone. Good day to you. I hope you are all well. It's just gonna... Okay. It just pounds through all of them. Okay, cool. I'll be right back then. Uh, I can't put this inside. It's an outside only thing. Mwomp. Ah, well. That's fair enough. So there, I can go back. And then... Looks like we're good. 20 planks at the sawmill. There's our copper pick. I got a message about it being late. Uh, we do have past midnight, so like, I don't know when we pass out? We don't seem to have like an energy meter or anything. I think just at some point, like maybe at one or two in the morning, we just die. So, <laughs> let's try not dying. Uh... Okay, and that'll, uh, uh, recharge or so. What uh, about this guy? That's a big one. Coal. The smelter, anvil, and a stump with axe. When you build the smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. It cannot overlap any other working area. Some objects can only be placed in a certain working area. Anvil can only be placed in the metalwork area. Making sense. I'm gonna sleep though, because it's almost two in the morning, I think. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pass out here. I don't know when my bedtime is exactly, but... 1.30 in the morning seems late. And, uh... Yeah, save then, too. Ooh. Six in the morning. A quick nap. Stock up for the day. Logs for crafting and the fireplace. Post box to order supplies. Oh. In three hours, they get delivered. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Every five days, five random ingredients will be available to order marked with a star. Some can be farmed after by unlocking them in the farming tech tree. Yeah, so bell peppers are a current special thing, but five silver for it? I valued it nine silver, though. Mm. What a deal. Okay. Um, I don't have that much money, so I'm gonna say no, but cool. So, smelting area. Let's, uh... Let's fix this for one. There we go. Got some oak sprouts as well that we can plant down, so I'll just throw a couple of those in. Maybe we get experience when they uh, harvest bloom. I don't know. That's a bit large. I think I might have to clear a bit of proper space. I should have probably chopped down these trees back here rather than out like kind of at the villa. Well, this isn't really a village, is it? We're, we're just like a we're like a tavern type thing just in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Town is who knows where. Yeah, that makes me feel a bit better. Let's clear out. I don't know if I can take out the rock fully. I'd like to just put this down at the corner, but I can put it up by the trees if I have to. Um. Well, it seems happy with it, so. Cool. An anvil. Because the rock kind of just. I expected it to maybe flatten. That's all right. So there, we got also an anvil. Okay, yeah, it is a different crafting thing. All right, well, we'll need uh, presumably coal, right? Yeah, we also got forestry waste burns very fast. It's a 20th of the fuel as some coal. But like throw that in me as well, and it's just all adding to, like, a big stockpile thing. And copper bar. I've got... Ah, up there. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to work on clearing a little more... Actually, I'm gonna open up my shop. See about making a bit of money while we wait for that to do its thing. Won't be open for very long. Just a bit. God, I love the little blings and blips and ah, the sounds of success. I love it. I wasn't open for very long. They barely had a chance to order a porridge and I think like a beer. It's all right though. Ooh, actually that reminds me. Was I able to place the beer as decoration? No. No, I could not. All right. Well, I've got it for tomorrow then, I guess maybe. <laughs> I don't know. If I get a bucket, I can get some water. Water down some booze. Make more of it. How's your fuel after that? Oh. Oh, okay. Not great. I see. Well, have all of that. You may as well. What are we actually working on? What's our objective? 
make nails, ten of them. Okay. I don't, I don't have iron for it. I gotta get some iron. I think I found some iron. I'm not sure what this is over here, but it looks like definitely something one day, like a bridge, could be there. Just looks a bit sussy. And then there's some stairs down here, too. I don't know where these go. Check it out. It's probably safe. There's just more area for stuff. Oh. Uh, I don't have my build mode thing here, though. Fishing spot? Where am I going? Oh. 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 This is also going to be mine one day. Standing. Oh, goodness. Hi. Buzz. New owner of the tavern next door. Great job, by the way. Pretty much in ruins before you arrived. For heaven's sake, where's my manners? I'm Buzz. My family and I welcome you to our farm. Your family? My wife Holly and I recently purchased this land. We just moved in with our two children, Arthur and Violet. A true blessing from the gods. We've had to repair more than we'd like, but it's been worth it. Since Holly opened the store, we've started getting orders from all over the kingdom. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask her. Build. Eventually a barn and stuff. Okay. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, I don't think I can close this. Ahem, <clears throat> well, it's a good thing it saves when I sleep. <laughs> uh, there's that for the stocking up, and we can blah. Yeah, okay, so I still have to place the forge and all that. Okay, let me, uh, let me get caught up here real quick then. This thing uses a ton of fuel, by the way. 132 I've got. One lot of iron. Oh, it's still 132. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I see. I think it's when I queue it up. Yeah, okay. It's when I queue it up. All right. Only 10 fuel per. Uh, not as bad as I thought, actually. Felt like a lot more. I thought I put in like 220 of it. But hey, I think I got enough for iron nail. Uh, this also needs fuel. Oh, this also needs fuel. Oh, it's a good thing there's cold up here. I didn't think the anvil needed fuel. I guess just to uh, reheat things a bit. Keep it malleable or so. I don't know. Okay. I'll open up while that does that, make a little bit more of our money, as usual. I guess the candles, because they're they're still lit, I don't know if they need to still be lit, I could probably just like... I can, I can open build mode while we're open and remove them, so we'll do that. I think it's just like a nighttime thing. Because, yeah, our candle there, number five, is quite a bit low. This dude didn't even order. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you better. Yeah, jerk. Okay, requires quite a bit of uh, reputation here. It'll be nice to get more tables so we can get more customers in at once. The customers being rowdy are marked with a sparkly, frowny face. Press E next to them to try to calm them down. They'll upset nearby customers. Who is it? Oi! Knock it off! Slapped him upside the head. Jeez. Good grief. 
You can't add furniture. <laughs> it's mostly melted. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. Well, I'll add that to my pile of candles of various lengths, and we'll throw it down when we need to, I guess. Also, last call. Uh, 